Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video series, uh, we will learn and implement some interesting NLP applications. More specifically, uh, we will focus on um, zero sort multilingual transfer. Uh, that is, we will train the NLP application on just one language and then uh, we will see that how good it generalizes for unseen languages. So you must have heard about uh, pre-trained language models like uh, BERT, Roberta, XLMR, and uh, their successful application in uh, uh, various NLP tasks. Uh, but in this uh, tutorial, uh, we will use uh, current state of the art, which is sentence transformers. And uh, sentence transformers not only are really uh, good with uh, various NLP applications, they are also optimized to be uh, really quick, even on bare uh, CPU machines they works really fast so let us dive in and uh, see that uh, how we can use it so let us uh, first uh, do like setup so for setup we simply install sentence transformers so just open the terminal of your project and simply type pip install sentence transformer Okay, and just enter as it is already installed, so it will not install anything. But if it is not installed, it will install the setup and your environment will be ready to use. So let us dive in and check that how we can extract sentence embedding from this uh, sentence transformer. Okay, so let us import a sentence transformer. So let us say from sentence transformers import sentence transformer and let us create a model so let us say encoder is equal to sentence transformers and simply we'll use the model this model so there are quite a few i will add a link in video description you can see uh, what are those and how you can use them and let us simply encode the sentences so we can say encoder dot encode so you see it's really simple so it will return a numpy object which will be of dimension number of segments and uh, uh, number of segments cross uh, embedding size so we can simply say embedding dot shape okay let us run and see it so when you run it first time it will uh, download the model and tokenizer uh, for me i already ran it earlier that's why it didn't download those things so just remember that also we can do one more thing like you can see here so like we have five segments and uh, the embedding dimension is 768 and uh, that's what we get 5 cross 768 so we can simply try one example like we want to see like uh, how these embeddings are similar with each other so we will use a simple uh, utility that is already available with sentence transformer so we will simply say import from sentence transformers import utils okay and then simply say is codes similarity score is equal to utils dot itarch cosine similarity and simply pass embedding so what it does if you have two embedding space and you simply pass them it will return you a similarity score in between like uh, uh, each embedding will be uh, each embedding will have a similarity score uh, to each other embedding okay so let us print scores And let us see so you see it is comparing with itself and then it will compare with the second segment which is uh, uh, this sentence and it is like 60 percent similar it says and then remaining these are like a bit different you can see here they are really low scored here okay and if you talk about in these three segments when we start comparing this one with these remainings you can see here 
this is comparing with itself like this one is comparing with itself and then comparing with this and this they are kind of saying it is more similar in that sense okay semantically they are more similar so this is kind of uh, something that uh, gives uh, us uh, like it gives us embedding our features for same segments same kind of features okay so i think uh, it should be clear enough in this uh, that how we can simply get embeddings from sentence transformers okay in the next video we will apply uh, these embeddings to train a classifier and uh, we'll take it from there so thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it and bye for now take care see you in the next